Man, Netflix has just been killing it recently with their original TV shows. Not to mention their animation. This has to be like the best platform for animation right now. I swear to God. At this point, I don't think Netflix can do any wrong. I mean, oh, oh, come on. Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Nemo, and ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad news day. Because as of today, the popular Netflix animated series Tuca and Birdie is cancelled. This information was dropped not too long ago by Netflix itself, and also the creator of Tuca and Birdie, Lisa Hanawalt. And despite being critically acclaimed and adored by a lot of people, Tuca and Birdie will not be coming back for a season 2. I'm sure there are a lot of reasons for this, but Netflix specifically explained in a press statement, saying Lisa Hanawalt created a relatable yet whimsical world in Tuca and Birdie. We're grateful to Lisa and her fellow executives producer Raphael, Bob Waxberg, Noel Bright, Stephen A. Cohen, and executive producers and stars Tiffany Haddish and Ali Wong, along with all the writers and animators for sharing the funny and dynamic female bird duo of Tuca and Birdie with the world. While Tuca and Birdie won't have a second season, we're proud to feature this story on Netflix for years to come. As much of a dick move as it is that Netflix cancelled the show, especially with how critically acclaimed and loved it was, I mean Netflix is seriously coming off as like the big bad company that made a money decision as opposed to a morally creative decision, but in the very least this press statement shows that they care about their staff at least a little bit, I mean, they're willing to name all of these people and thank them. They could have not made a statement at all, but they made a point to come out here and to list the people that made the show happen, and to thank them for the show, which is a gentleman move, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's still a scary, faceless corporation, but you know, ups and downs. Despite the sad news, the creator of the show, Lisa Hanawalt, is choosing to turn this in a positive direction. This all comes from a Twitter thread she did just the other day where she says, Netflix is not ordering a second season of Tuca and Birdie. Tuca and Birdie is everything I wanted it to be. Beautiful, funny, fresh, loving, horny, weird, experimental, comforting, and deep. The whole team put our hearts and asses into the show, and we're so proud of it. Cast and crew and writers were flawless, production ran so smoothly, it felt charmed. Everyone is so glowing over the reviews and articles and feedback. Tuca and Birdie is critically acclaimed, and has repeatedly been called one of the best new shows of the year. Best of all, I still get daily messages and tweets from viewers who connect personally with the characters and stories. The Bird persona and Plant Zona's fan art is so incredible, are you kidding me? And the show is still being discovered by new fans every day. None of this makes a difference to an algorithm, but it's important to me in the way I want to continue making art in this world. Thank you to everyone who loves and supports Tuca and Birdie, and to everyone who was comforted and felt like this show gave you a voice. I'm hopeful we can find a home for Tuca and Birdie to continue their adventures. This is incredibly graceful and incredibly respectable as a creator to take this harsh news and spin it back into something more positive. Instead of complaining about Netflix or demanding a season 2, she takes a point to thank everybody for the road that she has been on thus far, and making a point to talk about how proud she is of the work that they actually did. And she should be, I mean, as she mentioned, Tuca and Birdie is critically acclaimed. Almost every article is just praising it and calling it one of the best shows of the year. They truly had something special with this show, and whether Netflix sees it or not, they still made that thing, and they still should be proud of it. However, not everybody took it disgracefully. Tuca and Birdie was actually trending on Twitter, as a massive amount of fans came out of the woodwork to talk about how much they love this show, and how much they want a second season of it. We've seen situations like this happen before with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where a show gets quietly cancelled, and then the outrage from the fans is enough to bring it back somewhere. And this seems like that textbook scenario. I did not realize this many people watched Tuca and Birdie. And it's incredible to see this many people that are willing to fight for it, making petitions, or just giving their opinion on Twitter and tweeting to Netflix. That's how things get done. I mean, companies make decisions based on what the people want, and if enough people want another season of Tuca and Birdie, they might just bring it back. There's still some hope. Either way, I'm sure it's just validating for the people that worked on the show to know they reached out to this many people, and that they created this many fans of their work. This many people loved what they made. Tuca and Birdie was truly a special show with a lot of heart that told an incredible story that touched on heavy subjects and was also very funny, unique, and original, every positive adjective could be applied to this show. It wasn't perfect, but it truly was special. It's sad to see this type of animation get neglected like this. For a hot second, I thought Netflix was the only place something like Tuca and Birdie could work. If you look at another show like Bojack Horseman, which has been incredibly successful, shows like that with a weird concept that doesn't really have a specific audience, that plays by its own rules and just talks about whatever it wants to, seem to be a perfect place for Netflix, who like didn't care and doesn't even have a standards and practices department. It felt like the Wild West in a way, and creators could really tell their own unique stories without worrying about the audience or who it's going to cater to, and in turn we got incredible cartoons like Tuca and Birdie or Bojack Horseman. But this news really bummed me out because it's starting to look like that model is falling apart. Again, I don't know why Tuca and Birdie wasn't renewed for a season 2, but a lot of people have been talking about an algorithm, and that makes sense. Netflix is like YouTube, it has so much content that it has to control what gets put on that front page. And if Tuca and Birdie wasn't shown to enough people, if it wasn't put in that algorithm enough that pops up in the newly added or the popular right now tabs, then a lot of people probably wouldn't have seen it. Word 
of mouth only goes so far. It looks like this show quietly faded in the background after a while, and that's really sad, but that's what happens with a lot of cult classics. And this show might just be a cult classic, like a Clone High type show, that had one amazing perfect season, but never really found its footing, and networks gave up on it too soon. This is a disgusting way of dealing with television, and it's really depressing if that's the way the industry is going. A show's success should not be dependent on an algorithm no matter what. I'm not saying I have a solution, and I'm not even entirely blaming Netflix because this is a complicated problem, but it's a problem that I hope we figure out soon, or else we're gonna keep losing incredible shows like Tuca and Birdie. But from all of us, thank you Lisa and the incredible team who worked on Tuca and Birdie for the incredible work that you did accomplish with this show, and good luck on your future endeavors, whatever they may be. But as always guys, I wanna know what you guys think about all this. Were you fans of Tuca and Birdie? Do you want it to come back? Do you not? Let us know in the comments down below, or tweet to us at Roundtable Vids, or me at Stretcher Nemo. If you wanna consider helping out the Roundtable, you can support us on Patreon, or become a member of the channel, and get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more incredible cartoon content, guys. As always, I'm Nemo, this is a Tuca and Birdie tribute, and I will see you next time. Peace.